Today we're tackling a subject that can revolutionize the way you work. Imagine having a set of powerful assistants that run 24 seven to transform daily tasks, boost your productivity and give you a competitive edge in winning over your clients. By the way, these assistants also get everything done in less than 30 seconds and know everything under the sun about you and your style of work so they don't really make mistakes. Sounds crazy, right? This is the power of AI automation. I built a whole agency around this and today I'll be showing you a complete guide on how you can use AI automation in your agency with three real world applications that you can set up with me to get you started on your AI automation journey. This is essentially a 100% free, no strings attached AI automation course. You can literally follow each of these steps I'll be breaking down for you, copy and paste them into your systems and in less than 50 minutes have an AI automation up and running in your agency saving you time and money every single day. People pay us thousands to get systems like these integrated in their agencies. So get your notepad out and let's get started on your automation journey right now. All right, guys, the first thing we want to do to actually get you started in your AI automations is choose a no code platform. Now, for this example, we are going to use Zapier. The only reason we're doing this is because that's what we're used to using. But most of these no code platforms are fairly similar. So you choose to use Zapier or make it doesn't make a massive difference. The stuff I'm doing today, you can apply to whatever no code platform that you're using. The first step to actually start using AI within your automations is connecting ChatGPT to Zapier. Now, this is quite simple to do. Head over to openai.com and create your account. Once you've created your account, just log in. Head over to OpenAI. Here, access the left-hand menu and scroll down to API keys where you'll have to create your new secret key. So just press this button right here, name whatever you do, want to name it. And then you want to create your secret key and copy it. Now that we've created the key, we actually want to connect the API. So we're going to head over to Zapier and you want to head over to apps and search for OpenAI. Here, you're going to open this up and add a new connection. And very simply, all you have to do is copy and paste the OpenAI key right here. As you can see, we've connected a new account. Now, all we're going to do is do the exact same thing for ChatGPT. So search ChatGPT, add a new connection and copy and paste your API key. Very simple, guys. That's pretty much the setup for this. So now we can actually go into the three different case scenarios we're going to be looking at today, showing you three different ways you can actually integrate AI within your automations. The first thing we want to look at is assistants. Now, assistants are kind of the home of this because with assistants, you'll be able to use these within your different AI automations. And you'll see more about that later when I go on to the different cases. Now, assistants and GPTs are fairly similar, but there is a difference. GPTs is probably what you're used to now, what you're actually used to seeing. They live on a front end, so they actually live on ChatGPT. Assistants are pretty much the same thing. However, they live on a the back end. That's the key difference between assistants and GPTs. In essence, they're basically the same thing, just exist in different worlds. In order to use our custom assistants within our automations, we're not going to use GPTs, we're going to use assistants and using that within our automations. To actually do that, the first step we need to do is actually create the assistant. This is quite simple. Once again, if you've created a GPT, it's basically the exact same thing. All you're going to want to do is head back over to OpenAI, head over to API, and on the left hand side, you want to click assistance and then create assistance. Now you can name this wherever you want. For this example, I'm going to put Fluximate Assistant. Now, in terms of the instructions, this is really where you can kind of explore the world a bit more and create your own custom system depending on your unique case, case scenario. If you're not 100% sure what to actually put here, you can just create a GPT similar to these and then head over to edit GPT and just copy and paste this instructions here. So all the prompting basically taken care of for you. One of the coolest things about these assistants is that it can upload files that it will kind of use as guidance. If you want to do that, all you have to do is head over to this file section and add whatever document you want. This can be anything from YouTube transcripts, different policies in your company, a contract, in order to actually activate that, just turn on retrieval. And once you've selected your model, all you have to do is turn this on and press save. If you want a much more in-depth video on how to create specific assistance for different use cases within your agency, then let me know. But that's as deep as we'll go into it this video, just because we have a lot to cover. The second step is actually using these assistants in Zapier. And as you can see here, there's a ton of different case scenarios for you guys to do that. All you want to do is head back over to Zapier, create a new Zap, once you're here, this is where the magic will happen. Now, your trigger can literally be anything. Just depends on a specific case scenario that you're trying to achieve. The action is where you actually be using, calling the assistant and using it. So we're going to head over to action, head over to JetGPT, And here for event, we're going to scroll down to conversation with the assistant. 
if you've corrected your account correctly, you'll be able to see it here. And all you're gonna wanna do is open this up. And when you look for assistance, it'll be there. Now you'd throw in any instructions for this specific task. And that's basically a very simple way that you can actually use your assistance within ChatGPT. Now I'll show some use cases here, but I'll go through them quickly. There's a ton of different things you can do with the system within your automations. Before, we didn't have this conversate with assistant option. All we had was conversation. So we'd have to set a very, very specific prompts for each. Using assistance in any of your use cases will make your life so much easier. So for example, if you wanted a bot that dealt with your customer's customer service, you could upload a document with all your client's information for a particular assistant. And then each time the customer says something on Slack, set up a trigger that starts a conversation with the assistant, sending a message over to that specific assistant that knows everything about that client. You can also use this when onboarding new team members for your team as an internal process expert. If you upload a document going over all of the internal processes for your company, if any of your team members have a, ever have a question, it can be answered immediately to avoid any delays. Thirdly, script writers. This is something that we use for our YouTube we have a very, very specific assistance that we've uploaded a document of all the transcripts of our previous YouTube videos so they know our exact style when it comes to our YouTube scripts. So all we have to do is upload a couple of ideas onto our content database and from there, I'll create a completely custom script and drop it within Notion. And last but not least, we have fulfillment experts. These are basically assistants that know everything about your specific fulfillment process and can help you out when it comes to generating ideas or just doing some of the work that you do for your clients. Now guys, these are just four very specific use cases. In reality, the possibilities of what you can actually do using assistance is infinite. And like I said, if you want more examples of different examples of assistance that we use within our agency and our partners agencies on a day-to-day -day basis, drop a comment below and I'll make sure to record a whole video just on that. Now that we've gone over assistance, let's go on to the second use case of AI within automation. So the next use case we're going to actually see with AI is transcribing different files that you may use within your agency. Once again, the automation for this is super simple, but there's a ton of different use cases where you might use this. So all this starts with a trigger. And for this specific example, all we're going to do is trigger it whenever a new video is added here. So we're going to head back over to Zapier and set up this trigger. So you're going to search for Google Drive. And for the trigger, you're going to put new file in folder. Connect your account and continue. And obviously you want to select your folder. So I'll put YouTube test. So now all we have to do is open this up and upload a file within it. So for this, I'm just going to use my recent YouTube video where I go over how, how to work out how much your time is actually worth. If you haven't already made sure to check it out. Now that our file is uploaded, we're going to go ahead over to Zapier and actually test this trigger. And there you go. That's our file right there. So we're going to press continue and move on to the next step, which is actually using OpenAI Whisper to actually transcribe it. So I'm going to search OpenAI. And for event, we're going to use create transcription. And now you're going to link your account that you've used previously. For file, all you're going to do is select it from a previous link. And for prompt, we're just going to put transcribe this text. Now, last time I tested this, you weren't actually able to test it. So all we're going to do is press continue and skip this test until we actually launch it. And last but leave is actually creating a Google document with a new transcript. So we're going to create a document from text. And for document and content, you're going to go over here and put content. And you can put that whatever folder you want. So now we're going to continue. We're going to skip this test again. And we're actually going to try uploading a new file within our document to see if it works. Now, guys, one thing I forgot to mention while actually doing that is that the maximum size of the file can only be 25 megabytes. So this does work better for audio files because video files can get a bit chunky. But as you can see, the automation did work when I uploaded a file that was under 25 megabytes. And if we head over, to my Google Drive and we search for transcript, opening this up, you'll be able to see the transcript of the actual audio file right here. Now there's a ton of different things you can do with the format to make it a bit more neater. Another option is actually sending that content over to an assistant to analyze it for different use case scenarios. So something you can do here is turn your YouTube videos into newsletters using a newsletter assistant that knows exactly how to structure newsletters. You can upload shorts and create captions for the shorts with an assistant that knows each platform individually. You can also upload your sales calls and evaluate different calls. See if there's a certain point where you messed up, where you lost the prospect. Now, I first tested out Whisper around a year ago, and since then it's gotten much better in terms of the quality of the actual transcription. So there are a ton of different use cases that where you might actually want to use this.
where we use it is planning YouTube videos into newsletters. It's not 100% perfect yet, but it's much better than just starting from scratch. So that's the first and second use case of AI within automations. Just to go over everything, the first thing we have is assistants. These are basically GBTs that live within automations. And there's a ton of different use cases where you might use assistants depending on your specific circumstances. We've gone over how to create your assistants and how to actually use them within Zapier. The second thing we went over is transcription using OpenAI Whisper. We've gone over how to create an automation that will automatically transcribe your files and upload them to a document, which you can then use for different use cases, such as creating a newsletter from YouTube videos or creating captions for your shorts. The last thing we're gonna look at is vision. And no, I'm not talking about this guy. I'm talking about OpenAI's feature vision. This very cool tool allows you to analyze images. And once again, there's a ton of different use case scenarios here. But before we go into that, let's dive into how to actually set this up using an extremely simple automation. We're gonna use the exact same trigger as a previous automation. So all it is is gonna be a new file uploaded to a specific folder or any folder of your choice. But this time, instead of uploading a video, we're going to upload the image. So we're going to go for this one, one of my YouTube thumbnails from a previous video. Once it's uploaded, go back to OpenAI and test for new files. And the next step is actually using ChatGPT. So I'm going to search for ChatGPT and here we're going to look for the vision event, which is analyze image content with vision. For the message, it's going to be super simple. What is this image? And for the image, we're going to go over here and insert the web content link continue and we're going to test this step and as you can see it's already analyzed the image and given us a description of what they can see now what you can do with this is pass it on to your content system or a certain file like we did for the previous automation and once again there's a ton of different use cases for this you can automatically create captions for instagram posts automatically create seo description for images on your website wherever it may be it's a fun cool way of using vision within your automations for whatever use case you might need. Once again, guys, you can also send this information over to a custom assistant to perform a specific task, which is why I showed you guys the assistants before anything else, because the assistants are a really key part of using AI within your automation, as they come up in so many different use scenarios and really allow you to shape the AI to act in a specific way based on your specific needs, because you can prompt it with information and a very, very specific knowledge base. So guys, just to go over everything, we have three different use cases for AI. The first step is actually connecting OpenAI to Zapier or whatever no-code platform you may use. The first use case of AI is assistance, which is basically GPTs just on the back end. If you haven't already played around with GPTs, then you may not know how valuable assistants are, but the amount of things you can actually do with them is crazy. I think right now, Flux, I mean, we have about 19 different assistants doing different things and they're extremely helpful for whatever use case you might need. The second thing we looked at is using Whisper to transcribe files. Once again, this is something that has a bunch of different use cases and combined with assistants can create a super, super streamlined process when it comes to transforming YouTube videos to newsletters or creating captions for short form content based on the audio. And last but not least, we used Vision within our automations to automatically describe images and upload them to certain databases or documents. Using these three use cases of AI, you can now start building your different AI automations and actually integrating AI within your systems. Now that you have a basic understanding of how you can use AI automation in your business, it's time for you to actually begin building. If you need more inspiration on different automations, check out this video where we break down 22 different automation examples specifically for agencies. If that's not enough for you and you want some more specific examples of different automations specifically for your agency, check out our interactive automation experience. This is part of our agency's guide to automation, which is a 100% free tool that you can use to get five specific automations based on your specific needs, as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually set them up. We release all of this content and tools for free to get you started on your automation journey. So make sure to make the most of the tools you have available. That's it from me, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop a comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And let me know which one of these free AI automations you're most likely to use within your agency. They all definitely have different use case scenarios, but it'll be interesting to see which one is most valuable for different types of agencies. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more extreme value exactly like this. And that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next one.